deepest, darkest Somerset, Crewcan to be precise, DWS Engineering. First of all, Dave, well, thanks for having us along. What do you actually do? Um, we are making pre-war nuts and bolts for our own little sideline of our main subcontracting business. Okay. So what would you use these nuts and bolts for? Um, any vehicles that are pre-war that use the older style nuts and bolts, yeah. um, traction engines, lorries, cars, any old vehicles that date back then that you can't seem to get nuts and bolts for anymore. Okay. So you're, you're the man for that? Uh, yeah, we seem to be. <laughs> now, this isn't about obviously brand new machines and LFE and things like that, all of, you know, on the tip of everybody's tongue at the moment, or tip of everybody's tool even, excuse my bad pun. This is about second hand machine. Now, dip your toe in the, in the water. First sliding head? Yeah, for our first slider, yeah, yeah. Do you like it? I do, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite impressive considering we are used to like fixed head laves, yeah. Okay. Why do you say it's impressive? Um, the depth of cut you can do on it, the speed it can do, you can get a finished component out of the machine without having a second off anything. You also mentioned tool life, that's really improved? Yeah, yeah, we've had some amazing gains in tool life. Um, I mean, for example, we had uh, some EN8, 32 mil, we were cutting some bolts down to 5.8, which is about 16, so it was doing full depth um, along that cut, and we used one insert, and it turned about 15 meters of bar. Big smile on your face, very happy with that. Yeah, 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 it was impressive. Right, so we said, first time you sort of dipped your toe into the slide head market, Citizen though, it wasn't just about selling the machine, is that right? No, I mean, the service has been spot on. I mean, we had a few little teething problems with it, which they, they came over, drop of a hat. Yeah, it's been good. And just to clarify, we are in deepest, darkest Somerset on a, on a farm, but they did the whole install? Yeah, they had the whole install. We had an engineer the next day come and leveled it up line do all the alignment checks and everything on it make sure it was running fine yeah it's good uh, yeah and i just clarified they have done a hell of a job because coming up the track in a, in our car was a bit of a bit of a struggle so getting this beast up here would have been no, a bit of a task yeah it's been fine yeah yeah what i want to do just have quickly you've got some uh, examples of work you do here could yeah. just have a quick look yeah sure this is a typical example of um one of our half inch whitworth bolts uh, say whitworth yeah, British standard Whitworth. Okay. So it's all the old sizes. I mean, you can still get Whitworth in the modern sizes, but they reduced the size during the war to save material and metal. It's obviously metal was quite valuable during the war. So this is all the stuff that's before that. Yeah, and this is having this machine is making these nice and easy. Yeah, I mean, we're getting a full bolt in a couple of minutes. It does everything, finished component, the milling, a lot. So we can, uh, it's nice we can do it with, the, with the driven tools, we can choose whatever material we want to make our own bolts out of. Brilliant, brilliant. That's a great, great story. So any enthusiasts out there who, who are sort of, up, sort of restoring their old steamrollers, old cars, yeah. you'll come, come here for that, all those products they need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got a website, you can buy them online now, so it's doing quite well, yeah. Okay. And great sort of endorsement of Citizen. You know, it's second hand machine. Yeah. It's not all about the latest technology. You're really happy with it? Yeah, yeah, I know, it's been good, yeah. Next purchase? Uh, maybe a citizen, maybe a new one. One of this one's finished paying for itself. <laughs> Dave, thanks. Great little story. Brilliant. Much appreciated. That's okay. Thanks.